Hello everybody, I'm OS2 Foman and welcome to NDOC. I'll be going over the NCI slash N6 briefing. Um, you look on the screen, currently seeing my name, my point of contact information, and then we also have the IT distro. So moving along, uh, we're going to be going over some short blocks. It's going to be pretty brief. So uh, the first one is how to gain access to NCI slash Navy email. You're going to need a CAD card, a CAD card reader. Also, you're going to need a SAR N form, the OPNAV 5329-TAC-14, revision 9-2011. slash It must be that one. And also your cyber, cyber awareness certification. So we're going to go over the OPNAV form. If you look over here, there's going to be some blocks that you guys got to fill out. Um, most important thing is the DOD number. This is what I need to create you a new account. If we scroll down, if you have name, you fill that out. Uh, if you know the office symbol, department, like OSU or EMF, you put that in. If, if you don't know, you can leave it blank. Uh, for number five, use your personal email right over here. Number six, your rank and rate. So OS2, like so. And then the mailing address, 8, 9, just stay like this. And then for number 10, it should be your IA training, which is your cyber awareness and the date that you completed it. I do require your cert on hand, so please send it through. And just look at it. If you guys need a copy of this, I'll send it to y'all. Once you get part to number 14 all the way to 21, don't worry about that part because I'll take care of that. And the last things you guys got to fill out is numbers 23 to 25, your printed name, your signature, digital signature, and the date you signed it. So moving along, if you're curious how to get the cyber awareness certification, we're going to go over to my e-learning. You do need a CAD card reader and a CAD card. If you, if you don't have both of the following, you can go to this website right here. It's also listed in the helpful links I put below. And this is where to get the DoD cyber awareness on e-learning. So moving along, once you receive a build out from me saying that your NVCI slash Navy email is good, you have to log on to OWA West. What I use is Internet Explorer. It tends to work the best. So if you go over here, Internet Explorer, you type in the URL. It's also in the links. You could press OK, proceed to application. You're going to click here. And then you're going to use your email certification, email. It's going to prompt you for your PIN. Type in your PIN. Uh, it's taking a minute. And here we go. It's loading. Almost there. And this gives you access to your Navy email. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, whenever you access your Navy email, is always log in within 30 days of build out. So what that means is if you don't log in within 30 days, your account can be deactivated and out to create you a new account. One way to keep your account going after the coronavirus, um, when everything's all said and done, you can log in at the computers out at the NOSC. Uh, the last block we're going to go over is PII. PII is very important. So basically what I say to you all is keep work and work. So what that means is work is work. You know, sending out um, pay and also like information using um, your personal email is a no-go. Always use your Navy email to send out work-related stuff or work Navy-related stuff. Um, here's my intel again right here. So if you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, an amazing weekend. 
Um, hopefully you all enjoy this. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. I'm here to support. Thank you. Bye.